Well, I'm going to loop back in because I'm not scared of none of them. There's the Viger. Take him out. Easy. There's the Jinx. Hit her with that. Already hit with the Tiger Dots. And she's going to go down. Bam. Run away thinking, okay, yeah, what, what's up, York? I'll tank you any day of the week, bud. And... How y'all doing? It's, it feels weird recording a video since it's been like a month since I've recorded a video. I'm still here. Yes, I still play Ark Survival. Yes, I play other games, including League of Legends. This is the very first I League of Legends good. video. Um, let me know if you like it. You know, comment below, hit the thumbs up button, kiss it, smash it, punch it, knee it, whatever you gotta do. Um, and if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. Join one of the uh, fastest, not, I can't even say the fastest growing YouTube channels, but uh, it sounds good on other people's channel, but if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe channel, we're slowly growing, we're at like over 700 subscribers, guys, I thank y'all so much for being here, this is just kind of a jungle guide on Udyr, the game's changed a lot since I played six months ago, but uh, not that much, so hope y'all enjoy, let's get into it. Oh, there's Warwick. Uh, poor guy. Missing his blue buff. And he missed the ground, baby. Gonna clear these, uh, raptors out real quick. Work my way down. Hit the red buff. I'm gonna run back up. See, I'm always checking all lanes. Clear the wolves real quick. Nice and easy. Head up. Look, Warwick wasn't even man enough to come get my blue buff. Thank you, Swain. Clear Gromp here. And now what I notice is I'm always checking lanes, always looking at my mini map. Yorick is pushed. And look how low Poppy is. So I'm making my way up, right? I have to at least defend him or try to go for the kill. Look how low he is. This guy's dead. He doesn't even know it yet. Coming in. I think I flash here, yeah. Boom, right over. Slap, tap, tap. Ah, oh, look how close it was to first blood. That's all right, though. Making my way. Oh, I'm going to make my way down the river. I know I see scuds here. Got to take that. I need to give Poppy good vision. All right, low health like that. That's key for a Warwick. Now, as I'm back and I'm checking, making sure no one's pushed, I know exactly what I'm going to buy next. All right, I get my Tiamat, and we're moving on, right? They're telling me Viger's flashing heal. All right, I see that. I'm making my way up. Udyr's all about control, learning how to farm and manage lanes and be able to find that healthy balance. So let's uh, let's speed it back up. So I'm noticing here as I'm cleaning this, all right? I can see over here, bot lane's in full engagement right now. Alright, so I'm going to finish my camp so it resets. I'm going to work my way down. I'm letting them know I'm coming in, but I'm going to go around. I want to get behind them. Alright, first I've got to hit their CC. Get Tarek out of the way, but I'm going for Jinx. That's my main target. Throw the bush so I got vision. Snacks me with a hit. Slap the Tarek. It's one better than done. Boom, just like that. You get your ADC a kill. Come down here. Tax the lane. Carry on. After I hit that vision's key in this game, so I come up here to get scuds. Throw down a ward for looking for that Warwick. No Vigers missing. Try to get sneak in a Skugs. There comes the Warwick. Dodge the Viger stun. Run. Smack the Warwick. Opening its peg. There I can try to avoid that. Turtle up. Get ignited. Then the ult from Viger and I go down. Not worth the scuttles. But we did get the uh, ADC a kill. Oh. Uh, I'll give it to him. I know I'm gonna get fed. I know I'm gonna get huge in this game um, Just by doing the same method of farming the jungle and managing uh, the proper balance between lanes, so Now that I'm back up. I know immediately what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go clear, clear my top jungle. It's easy Getting that fast clear with that Tiamat. Spin that. Come through Slap the Grump. Get him done. Boom. 
run over here. Now I'm in their top side jungle, right? I'm gonna come in, always take their buffs if you can. If you can somehow get a uh, vision on their buff or their time quest, that's very important. It's a great way to shut down your jungler. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna take everything he's gonna give me. I mean, if I ain't mad. He's gonna give me his jungle and I'm gonna take it. All that's all gold and that's all XP. Now I'm gonna come down here. Enemy Look at this. Three. This lane's stacked up in the center, right? I'm gonna take all this. This is a taxation. This is a taxation for playing the game with me. Right? There's the, there's Viger. I'm gonna toy with him a little bit, but I'm out. I got things to do. Life Making my way back in, through. clearing this jungle, looking at my lanes. I can go top lane, but I was just there. I'm not retreating. I'm not back and back. I'm gonna take my red buff. Every buff I can get. Doesn't matter if I already have it. I'm not passing it off at this point. I'm trying to get ahead of the game, get ahead of the gold count, and I'm gonna take control of this game. So as I'm clearing this, I notice, right? He's coming down in the lane. I notice the bot lane is pushed now that I'm giving it time. So I'm gonna come running in. My objective right there is Jinx. So I'm gonna sidestep that. Not allow to get away. Boom, land the slap on him. He's gonna take away from the ADC, that's fine. One kill is better than none, feed the assists. I'm moving back, I ain't gonna chase. That's the problem that a lot of guys do is they chase. That's bronze, that's bronze, low silver. You chase them around, it doesn't work. I backed, I, I've spent my gold, got my paycheck, and I'm back out, going to make some money. All right, now that I purchased, I'm running back up in the lane. I know I'm going top jungle. I'm looking at those guys fighting up there. I'm going to come in, take that buff. Like I said, you take everything you can. I'm going to clear this jungle. This is free gold, baby. This is free gold. I'm going to come up. I'm going to take Scuds. Now, this is when I realized I didn't even kill Scuds. I think I'm a little more stronger than I thought. Now, I'm heading down. Not knowing a move, so there's really mid lane. But I do notice there's a mid move top lane. So, I'm going to run up here. Come from behind, it's always important to come from behind, especially on a gank like this. It's a lot harder for him to get away. There's nothing he can do. He knows he's dead. I'm gonna slap him. I'm gonna hit this. He's in a flash, and that's okay. I'm not gonna chase him. I'm gonna move through. I'm gonna clear these minions, right? And I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna give this poppy a little bit of assistance in lane. Nothing crazy. Put another point to the tiger. Let that dot do its work. Let that TMAT give me some extra gold now. We're going in on this. She indicates we're going in. So, okay, she's stuck in the trap. I'm gonna hit him with the stun. And I'm just gonna drag him under tower. I'm gonna turtle up, and I'm gonna run down. Now, I know Warwick's gonna be coming after me, so I'm out. I'm out. I know Viger's on her way up. That's what I'm getting signaled. So I am running away, picking up that speed, cutting off through here in bear mode, and it's gone. Back to farming the jungle and making money. Speed this up here for you boys. As you can tell, they're going dragon. I'm running in. All right, we gotta secure this. This is an infernal drake. It's a big deal. Run up here. Now I can see that his blue buff ain't gonna be up yet. Drop that pin. Come through. I'm gonna take his jungle. Everything in his jungle is mine. Everything you take away from him is something he can't get. You gotta think about it like that. Now I'm coming in here, bot. And when I'm coming down here, it's not really to get a kill. It's just kind of scare him, right? I'm gonna get stuck here in this trap. I'm gonna shield up. But look at this Tarek. He panics. This is Bronze 101. He doesn't know what to do. He's just going to take you away from his uh, ADC, so he's going to make us do a run around. I know he's probably got Flash coming up. I'm going to try to get him with Bear. I'm hoping he doesn't stun me. I'm thinking he's going to try to jump over that wall, so I hit him with the Flash. I'd rather use my Flash and get a kill than not get a kill and have him Flash away. I'm going to be fast enough, and I'm getting strong enough, that I know I can pretty much take anybody on their team. So I'm looping around here, looking for the next victim, and it looks like Viger, easily overextended, no vision coming from behind. She's gonna get me with the stun, lucky, lucky, hardly anything, just tickled me. Chase her off a little bit, come in here, get that free CS. That's free money, baby. All right, I'm out of here. Back to doing what? Farming the jungle, getting my buffs. If you guys get anything from this video, I hope you get the emphasis of as a jungler farming the jungle. Yeah, it's great if you can farm and troll lanes, but if you are able to emphasize a good, solid, fast clear, know what items to buy and know how to help your lanes succeed, whether it be covering for them when they need it, moving on, 
leaving them behind. Sometimes you have to just abandon a lane because they're just going to bring the whole team down if you focus on them. Just where to put your attention and how to farm a jungle with good solid clear and take away the enemy's jungle. You will win games. Uh, you will do this. Anyone can do this. I'm not even ranked in League of Legends right now. I've been on like a six month hiatus and I'm coming back and the game hasn't changed. So I'm coming over here, you look at this, hitting in, gonna hit this Viger, right? Got me stuck, I'm in the turret, boom, melted, out. <laughs> hold on, hold on, I gotta rewind this one back, I gotta show you exactly how that went down, that was a key gank in this game, hold on. So basically what I'm doing is I'm noticing this is going down, I'm wrapping around, getting in front of him, right? Kiting him, knowing he can't get in front of me. I'm smacking him, and then I just Q and melt it. And then I'm off to the right. Now, once I go through and I clear his jungle, look at this. Thinking about it, I know that he's just got a Yorick up here. He's not that strong. I can take him, but I'm going to clear his jungle real quick, get some help. And I'm getting ready for this gang. Turn it in. See you the Jaren. Here we go. Coming in hot, letting him know I'm here. There it is, the drop here. I know, oh, I'm gonna hit him with it, he can't get the stun. I know that he's gonna flash over the wall and he's gone. So instead of chasing that Yorick, I'm just going to back, pick up my items, grab a few daggers for some attack speed. I uh, notify that the uh, Infernal Drake is coming up soon, but I got 30 seconds, so I'm gonna run through and I'm gonna clear my jungle. Why? Because it's free gold. I want to have as much gold as I can, right? I'm gonna run through here. I don't need help with this Infernal Drake. Easy. Quick, easy, fast, clear. Moving through. Grab that. Oh, oh, get it. There it is. Grab him. I'm gonna run up here. Run away that Viger. Chase him off. Clear this. This is all free gold. Look at this. Uncontested. I mean, it's just free load. This just doesn't get any easier. I'm gonna come through. Move here. I'm gonna come in. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna take his jungle. Viker's gonna push, well he's pushing mid, I'm noticing that York is coming down here, right? Map awareness, they're in a fight down here, so what am I doing? Running up, there's York, hit him, dot, dot, he's done. Alright, I'm gonna put my turtle shield up, I'm gonna try to run, I got exhausted, I'm dodging all the moves, coming through, drops a little bit of disrespect on these guys, it's getting a little ridiculous, come through, slap the Tarek, run away, run away. You want to take that free low damage, that Terex going to bounce off. Probably could have came back and helped him out a little bit more, but that's all right. You know, it's been a few it's been a few months since I've done this, but I'm moving up here. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go take his blue buff. Come in here, slap the blue buff, give it to Swain. Come through, take this, head on down. I'm going to back here. I'm going to get myself my Stinger, a Phage. Moving back up. Always farming. Always making money. Always. If you find yourself not doing something, right? If you're not killing some gold, if you're not killing anybody for gold, or you're not doing something, something's wrong. Right? I'm gonna come in here on this gank. This York, like every York, has no map awareness, completely overextended. I'm gonna come here, slap him with the bear, turn into tiger. He's gonna get me in his clutches. War jumps on me with the ult. He's useless. He's absolutely useless. I'm going to tank him. I'm going to take him out. I have ruined that champion in this match. He's useless and irrelevant. He means nothing. So since both of those guys are dead, no one's going to be roaming top. I'm just going to come up here, and I'm going to take all this. This is free gold, baby. All of it right here. Come through here. Look, I'm waiting for the minions to catch up to the towers. So what do I do? I clear his jungle camp. Come in here take that. Start wiping his tower out. I mean, it's just insane. Here comes the Warwick. I'm not afraid of him at all. I've shut him down. I've ruined him. I'm going to drop the disrespect. Let him know, you know, who his daddy was. There's the Yorick. Warwick and Yorick. I'm not scared of either one of them, but I'm going to run down here. All right. Check his red buff. I see the Jin's coming in, so I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to I'm gonna attempt to put this in. I'm going to come in here, give him a little hit, blow his cooldowns. Right, no he's not gonna play, he's gonna run away from me every single time. Slap the Warwick. Oh, didn't slap him, I'm gonna shield up. They're gonna hide under tower, drop a little bit more disrespect. In comes the Poppy, I'm thinking, alright, we're gonna hit this, we're gonna we're gonna go in. A lot of waiting, a lot of impractical, impatient, just not 
crisp, clear decisions. They're gonna get me stuck here. I'm stuck in here. I got this done. I'm flashed out. I'm gonna run away. We got overran. We waited way too long. Well, I'm gonna loop back in because I'm not scared of none of them. There's the Viger. Take him out. Easy. There's the Jinx. Hit her with that. Already hit with the Tiger Dot, so she's gonna go down. Bam. Run away thinking, okay, yeah, wait, what's up, York? I'll tank you any day of the week, bud. And he brings me down. So after I take my death, I spawn back. I'm telling the team there's an Infernal Drake. I'm there taking that before uh, we can get there. But as you can see, it's a 4-1 to surrender vote. This game is over. Chalk up another W. Hello, Kings! Thanks for watching the whole thing. If you did watch the entire thing and you're already here, you might as well hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it already. Smash the thumbs up button, you know, let the YouTube overlords uh, know you liked it. And, uh, of course, as always, this is Trick King, out. Woo!